Wolf Pup 16 FQ here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is the smallest member of the Cherokee family of trailers. At the time of this filming, the number two selling family of travel trailers on the market. This is a serious contender, guys. There are a lot of very scary, cutthroat constructed mini campers like these. The mini camper concept hasn't really existed since the days of Fleetwood's Prime. And all of a sudden, the last couple of years here, it's just really come back in very strong. And it's a really cool option for people. It offers you a lot of benefits of a full travel trailer without the heavy, expensive cost, big size of a full travel trailer. Just a little, it's 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack. What I was getting at is when you get in this smaller class, all of a sudden some really cutthroat construction creeps out there and I'm not naming names of other brands. That's not what I'm about. I'm here to show you the areas where this camper is awesome so that you can be educated and you know what questions to ask if you go shopping against another brand. Because there are other good mini campers out there. I carry some of them here. But that's what not that's not what this is about. This is about the Wolf Pup by Cherokee. So let's get dug in here. So just like it's Big Brother Cherokee, we're gonna be uh, solar trickle charge ready so you can get a solar suitcase system. Costs about 600 bucks, looks like a suitcase. You fold it out, leave it next to your tongue, keeps your battery topped off, simple and easy. Uh, very few mini campers have a full underbed pass-through storage like this, and that's part of the FQ, the front queen bed on this one. Um, that is a big deal because storage in mini campers is truly something that is at a premium. You get into mini campers and you generally start to lose the front diamond plate. Uh, also, you'll find a lot of brands will use um, thinner metals on the exteriors on these mini campers just to save a dollar. They're still using the same .024 aluminum on the sidewalls and a .06 extremely heavy duty industrial grade aluminum on the front wall there. So that even if a stone doesn't clip the bottom stone guard here, it's not going to ding up the front end unless it really gets blasted in there because that is heavy duty like horse trailer thick aluminum. You know, they build horse trailers out of that extra thick aluminum because horses are like lightning in a bottle and if they get spooked, they will just start kicking and bucking and snorting and smashing things. We've upgraded this one in several ways. Like you're gonna see a roof mounted AC, a furnace, you're going to see the aluminum rims here. Those are all options that we have added onto this one. Some of those are part of the limited package uh, that is sometimes available on these to high volume dealers like ourselves. Some of them are not, they're just straight options. This is not every single 16 FQ you're ever gonna see here at Halix. This is a generic video to teach you about them. Rear travel rack, part of one of those upgrade things. Notice that it holds your spare tire. You do not have to take the spare tire off to fold that thing down. It's just easier, it's more functional, it's usable. The whole point of this entire thing is it's supposed to be fun and easy and people forget that. Different kind of antenna on these as well, and this is a thing that uh, the whole Cherokee family uses once we get zoomed in here. You see that uh, Frisbee, that, that saucer disc up there? Uh, it's an omnidirectional antenna. There is no crank up, crank down. You don't have to worry about accidentally ripping it off because you folded it over the side of the camper. It, it, just, it just works every direction. It doesn't necessarily always have the exact same range of one that you crank up and down, but it is safer and easier. So that's the benefit there. Outside entertainment system, one of those upgrades. If you add a TV to this, which is typically, typically not included in a Wolf Pup, we will list if we have added a TV to this from the factory. Standard is no TV. You can slide it right in here. It plugs in there and it connects to your interior entertainment center. So you have inside, outside entertainment. If you have two TVs going, one inside, one outside, they'll show the same thing. It's really cool. We talked about the aluminum wheels. Um, let's see, oh, big windows. You get in these mini campers, windows guys are expensive in campers. This thing going down the road, you have to understand is a twisting shoe box and if this thing doesn't hold its shape if this wall buckles and th that window can't flex that window has to stay rigid if this wall buckles it's going to be a problem so these windows are extra strong to help deal with those stresses many campers don't usually have full-size entry handles like this but Cherokee stays very consistent with their construction and make everything the same I don't know if the wind has hit the camera a little bit but it is windy today which is a good time to talk about this friction sprung door here you could fling this thing you can smack it, and it does not smash into the side of the trailer. You have to heave this sucker to actually get it to slam shut. It takes like a 25 mile an hour gust wind, which can happen, but it, I mean, you really gotta get friendly with this thing to get it open and closed. That's that's a good thing, you know? It's just so the wind isn't gonna smash it against the side wall of the trailer and cause any damage. Now, because we have these extra large windows, I have purposely left off all of the lighting, though, I do need to mention this is LED lighting. This has 100% LED interior lighting. And that is not common in mini campers. I'm only really aware of one other brand that does that. 
So what's cool about this one, we get a normal front queen bed and a small camper. This is an ideal couples getaway jet setting camper you know this is not made for you and the grandkids and everything else though we could probably fold down the dinette for one of them if you need to this is just couples going camping who don't need a big fancy thirty thousand dollar 90 foot travel trailer i exaggerate obviously but they just they just need something to go away and get away for the weekend and keep their heads off the dirt that's what this is all about but you're still getting the way we tend to option them air conditioner furnace microwave you're going to get nice stuff with this and same big window configuration that you get in the Big Brother Cherokee. You still get in the Wolf Pup. Uh, power outlets next to the bed so you can run your CPAP machines and charge your phones just like it's Big Brother Cherokee. That's the thing. This is the roof construction. You can still get on this roof and maintain your camper. There are many campers made in this category that literally have no roof decking. It's literally just one sheet of beer can thin aluminum. And here in the Midwest with just the snow piling up on them, uh, there is, uh, I, I have a video, if you're on YouTube or you get on YouTube, I would like you to YouTube the phrase buyer beware beer can construction and look at the other types of mini campers that are built out there. That is a video I personally took of a uh, another trailer sold by a, a neighboring dealer and uh, I'm not going to, they, they, they weren't really excited to show people the roof of their RV but the problem is, you know, their campers cost the same and they're not built the same. The, and that's the stuff you can't see. This is often going to be a first-timer's camper, and a first-timer doesn't know what they don't know. That's the hard part. Until you spend that money and pull that trigger, you have no way of knowing. That's why I put these videos together, to help you get an idea. Now, just like the Big Brother Cherokee, they have these fully molded resin countertops here. Now, this is sealed. Water can't get in here. Water can't cause us to sponge and swell. They have a little bit bigger refrigerator in the Wolf Pups than a lot of mini campers. A lot of them have a little college kid electric-only mini fridge. This is still gas and electric. We have good storage wherever they can. Remember, we do have full storage under the bed accessible even from inside the RV. We have the same kitchen cabinet configuration as the Big Brother Cherokees. We have bigger, bigger cabinet spaces here. Uh, we have added a furnace to this one. Again, that's an option, uh, but we will typically add that to just about anything unless you custom order it otherwise. And, uh, you know, your little double door pantry space here. You have every ounce of storage you can get, more overhead space over here. And you'll notice that it actually does pass all the way through here. Um, and this is your entertainment system, AM, FM, CD, DVD. It pretty much does everything, so you don't have to worry about extra stuff. Um, this has a 26-inch wide door. Most of these little mini campers have a 22-inch wide door. This has a full awning, not a bag awning like a lot of mini campers. Again, there's a lot of good things out there, but I'm trying to show you the differences and where this is superior compared to industry standard. Nicer pleated shades, not metal shades. You get nice stuff here. Interior TV mounts against that wall, by the way. Um, just about done. We do have a full private rear bathroom space. So we have plenty of leg room here in the bath area. We have extra shelving space here for your extra toilet paper and whatnot. And I love the sink. Now, even in the, uh, if I don't know if you noticed, I told you about the seal, the, the resin top countertop in the kitchen. The dining table is also a sealed edge countertop. The bathroom is the same way. They don't use cheap Formica uh, press board countertops in their Cherokee products. This is a really high grade countertop system. I've seen even up in the uh, Class A motorhome market. It is awesome. And even in this mini camper, we have a huge sink you can actually wash your hands in. You know, we have a full shower here, and we don't have what's called a wet bath. A wet bath is when the toilet is located in the shower pan, and it's a very space efficient design. It's not one that anyone really wants to use. It's one that you settle for using. And I don't want you to settle. This is way too much money to settle, guys. I want you to be like, this is really fun, and I'm really glad we did this. Because we're not a chain store. We're Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We're a family-owned, operated dealership. My father is Mr. Haylet. He runs the place. My brother is the service manager. My wife types the paperwork. We are a true family-owned, operated outfit. Um, you know, we need you to be very happy so that you tell folks about us. We want you to come back and uh, have return and referral sales, you know. We want to see you again in another eight to 10 years. But in the meantime, we want you to be happy to tell people to come see us. And we must be doing something right because we are the largest independent RV dealer in the state of Michigan. There's chain stores and then there's Haylitz. We're the largest independent non-chain store in the state. It's pretty awesome. And it's selling them one at a time to folks like yourselves and going the extra mile like I'm doing right here so that you get an understanding of what you're spending a very significant amount of money on so that you're happy when you take it home because you have proper expectations walking into it. That's our goal. 
um, you know we're successful more often than not and it's never been for lack of trying so give us a call 800-256-5196 Haylet RV of Coldwater Michigan take care stay safe happy camping